In the last videos, we photographed the two largest Milky Way neighbors in the local group of galaxies. Today, we will photograph one of our two satellite galaxies. Hello, welcome to the Astronominas channel. I am Fabio and today we will photograph the Small Magellanic Cloud. The Small Magellanic Cloud is one of the two Milky Way system satellite galaxies and was named after the Portuguese navigator Fernão de Magalhães, who supposedly was the first to record its observation in the year 1519. Also called NGC 292, the small Magellanic Cloud is an irregular dwarf galaxy and is located about 200,000 light years away from the Earth. The most recent studies suggest that it was once a buried spiral galaxy, which was undone by the influence of the Milky Way. The small Magellanic Cloud has an apparent magnitude of 2.8 and a diameter of 7,000 light years. Autogate has an apparent size of almost 80 times the diameter of the full moon. Its luminosity is diffuse, which makes it easier to see with the naked eye only during the new moon nights. Autog the Magellanic clouds are easily photographed with DSLR lenses and cameras. This weekend's project will be a little different. I will be creating the most detailed image I've ever taken of this small Magellanic cloud. For this, I will create a mosaic composed of three panels with 60 minutes of integration time in each one of them, using the Sky Rover 60 Super ED telescope and the ZWO ASI 183MC Pro camera. To plan how many panels would be necessary in the overlapping, I simulated my equipment in the Stellarium. As the apparent field of view of the telescope camera set is not enough to completely frame my composition, I will create a mosaic, repeating the acquisition process three times in different regions of the small Magellanic cloud, with an overlap merging where I can merge the images and thus frame my entire region of interest. I can do this overlap manually in Photoshop, or I can use a specific software for creating mosaics, which is the technique I've been using successfully for a long time. I will use the Microsoft Image Composite Editor, which is a very simple software, but very efficient when we take care in the initial process of the images. During this weekend, the small Magellanic cloud will reach its highest point, which for my region is 40 degrees of altitude, around 8 p.m. So I won't have many issues with the city's light pollution. But even so, I prefer to divide the captures into three different nights to achieve the best possible image quality, as the mount will capture the images in downward movement towards the horizon. Each panel will consist of 30 images, with 1200 seconds of exposure time, thus totaling the necessary 60 minutes of integration and minimizing possible satellite risks and difference in the sky contrast, which can occur when the telescope is descending in the urban environment.
Despite not being the first and not the biggest mosaic I ever created, this was certainly my most detailed image of the small Magellanic cloud so far, as the atmospheric conditions contributed a lot in the last three nights, which is quite rare at this time of the year. It is possible to notice the difference in the coloration and size of the stars. The detailing of the nebulosity regions in the NGC 346 and 371 clusters, and the exuberance of the 47 Tucanai globular cluster. For me to photograph the night sky is above all looking for new ways to portray what seems immutable seeing the immensity of the universe through new perspectives and each year take advantage of opportunities for renewal. I hope you enjoy the final image of this small Magellanic cloud. I wish you all clear skies and see you soon.